Hopefully it won't freak things out here. Record the steps of creating a ball joint over the woodman. I'll probably put new sound over this at some point and re-upload it to YouTube or something. I'm kind of also testing the uh, the connection between Blog TV and YouTube to see if this actually gets processed over to YouTube. So anyway, start with our woodman. We take our water balloons that you can find in just about any party store. Or I got these at the drugstore actually. And I take and I cut the end off here, the neck. And I open it up. Try and get all the way up there to the, the nub on the top of the balloon. I place that right on the top if I can. Pull it down. I don't want to get any air in the top here. I want it to be as tight as possible. Then I just continue on. I, I put on four balloons so that I kind of create some space between my paper mache and the wood. I want to have some space, a little bit of space in there for movement. There we go. Another one right on over the top of it. That's two. start paper machine over this, which is pretty easy. Let's see, where'd my paper go? It's over here. I hope I have enough bits cut up. I use pretty small pieces. I may have to do a few more strips here, stripping up some of it in smaller sections. This is just industrial paper towel, brown paper towel, kind that you find in uh, public restrooms and stuff. I think I found, I've had this stuff forever because I bought like a whole case of it. I think I actually found it at uh, a party supply house. Um, probably find something comparable at some of the big places like the the Sam's Clubs, the Costco's, places like that that sell to the retail stores and stuff, but also let in individuals. Monkey's Tunes on Blood TV asked if these joints stay hidden and are not seen. And that is correct. These joints, well, they're kind of seen depending on the the costume and stuff that goes around, of, around it. A little bit of it probably would be seen. Although, depending on the hair that you put on on your puppet and how far, how long it is, uh, the collar that you bring up around the neck, um, so it's somewhat camouflaged. It's not meant to be real slick and clean and, and precise. So it, we'll, we'll say it's semi-hidden.
All right, I think we've got enough pieces there. Then you just grab hold of your wheat paste, or I'm using Mod Podge this time around because I couldn't find wheat paste when I went out to get it. Um, wheat paste is using, used in hanging uh, wallpaper and stuff. You can usually find it in the hardware store. And then I grab just one of my cheap little brushes here that's kind of stiff. You don't want it to be real, so real soft. You want to have some stiff stiffness to the brush. Get a little bit of the glue on there to get started. Just makes it easier to get started with the with the paper. And we just start paper mache and. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the first coat on of paper mache, but if you're patient, once you have that first layer on, it goes a lot faster, a lot easier. I'll put on about two good layers um, this first time around on this. It's uh, and in between the two layers, I'll let uh, the first layer dry up a little bit. And when I mean layers, I mean the important thing about paper mache is that you have a lot of pieces that are overla overlaying each other. So you want two good thick layers, which means you're maybe going over other pieces. I mean, as you can see here, I've laid a piece there, but that doesn't mean that I don't come in here and put another piece on top of it. You don't have to be real precise with this. Um, it's not like going to be the finished product that's showing. If you were actually making a puppet's face out of paper mache, you'd maybe use smaller pieces and want to keep it smoothed out more. Keep adding pieces and working them in with the others. I don't know if from there you can tell but for sure, but uh, the edges of, of my paper are definitely rough and coarse and feathered. When you're doing your strips, you wouldn't take scissors and cut them up because it's too clean a cut. You want that, that jagged edge so that it feathers into the other pieces. All just kind of basic paper mache techniques used on any project that you might be paper mache using paper mache on. You notice I go for different lengths, different shapes, different sizes.
I make a variety of different styles of puppets. Um, some of them use the paper mache and the paper clay. The puppet that you see laying right here to the side is a paper mache base that uses paper clay over the top of it. But I have also made foam puppets, much like what most people would think, the, like the Muppets. That's what most people have seen and are familiar with. I've made shadow puppets, fun Raku style puppets, about every every type. Many many methods between them overlap. I've used uh, the paper mache and paper clay both in marionettes, which these are marionettes for marionettes, and in rod puppets. Even the style of like hand hand puppets like the old Punch and Judy. You can always find out more about puppets if you go to puppetsandstuff.com. I've got it linked on my blog TV account here down in the playground. I'm pretty sure I have it linked in my YouTube account also. Any place that I have an account under puppets and stuff, I usually try and link back to that account or back to that site. General forum for, uh, for puppeteers. Members are welcome to join up and can participate in talking back and forth about puppets on the forum. Uh, there's a gallery there, which is cool. A lot of people upload pictures of their puppets. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good first layer. We'll close up our Mod Podge here. I usually get a little bit of water. I've got a glass of water up here above it, out of frame. Wet my finger a little bit and just kind of like make sure that the pieces are worked together good. I'm putting some fairly decent pressure. You don't want to move the paper too much, but kind of like working those pieces of paper all together. Okay, we're going to set that there. And let it dry for probably about uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and add our second layer.